Hello, hello, hello. Today we're doing another episode of Wreck This Journal. It has been so long since I've done a Wreck This Journal video, and it's time. When it comes to this kind of stuff, I've actually made a New Year's resolution to only do videos that I feel like doing, and this week Wreck This Journal was just calling to me. Cut through several layers. I've been getting in the habit of just closing my eyes and flipping to a random page when I do prompt journals, so this was chosen totally randomly. <laughs> Typically when I do wreck this journal, I like to leave the prompts very open-ended and not really interpret them the way they may have meant to be interpreted. However, for this page, I actually just straight up interpreted it as cutting through the black side of the page. With all different shapes. Well, they're really not specific shapes. They're more misshapen shapes. What are they called? Irregular polygons? Is that the correct word? I think it is. What? Now I did throw a heart and a star in there somewhere that you'll be able to see eventually, but the rest of them are irregular polygons. I did this mostly because it was really hard to cut them in even shapes. It was like vaguely approaching impossible. Anyway, once I had cut all of my shapes, I took a separate piece of paper, measured out how big I needed it, and then took out my weeks old lime green paint that I have covered in saran wrap, as well as my teal. I decided to create an ombre from teal to lime green. I'm doing this because I want this to be the background on which my shapes will be placed. I enjoy the way this ombre came out. I really like teal and lime green, the way it flows into each other. I used my heat gun to dry it off. After that, I'm taking out my matte decoupage, which was very hard to open. This is embarrassing. I did get the lid off eventually, and I put a nice coat of that on top of the paint. I did this for two reasons. The first reason is I want to seal in the paint. But the secondary reason is when I use this with my book, the decoupage will act as a glue on the back side of the page that I've just created all of my shapes on. So now that my cut through several layers page is basically glued to my colorful painted page, I'm going to take out my matte decoupage again and paint it over the top of this. This will seal everything together and it will look very nice. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. I have a lot of excess printer paper that needs to be cut off very precisely. I have to say, my tiny Cricut scissor is actually really fun. I love it. It's so small, but also so sharp. Now, I was gonna do the other page, but then I realized the back side of that is the tear this page out page. Put it in your pocket, put it through the wash, stick it back in. I was feeling actually quite destructive today. And usually, if you've watched my other Wreck This Journal videos, I'm not really that destructive. I typically misinterpret the prompt on purpose and make something look nice. But today, I was very interested in destroying things. So I have taken the ripped out page and I'm just wetting it in my sink. I, I don't have time to run it through my wash in my pocket and then ruin the wash potentially because I've got paper everywhere. No thank you. But I did put it in my sink, unfolded it while it was still wet, and then I realized, you know what? No, this needs something. I took out my set of ink permanent markers and I've decided to just create a very simple design. And then I decided, okay, after I put this design on this wet piece of paper, I'm gonna crumble it back up, stick it in my sink again, and then see what happens again. We're getting really, really crazy here, guys. Getting wild. Things are getting wrecked. This, this right here is the, the face of destruction. No, I mean, if you can't already tell, I don't really embrace the wreckingness. It's just, it's very hard for me to be like, oh, wow, let me take this piece of paper and chew on it and then spit it back out and then I'll just like stomp on it a bunch and then, wow, beautiful. I'll keep this book forever. I've added some color to the sopping wet piece of paper, crumbled it back up and then stuck it back into my sink to wash it. I squeezed it a bunch of times until I felt like, yes, this is disintegrating enough in my hands that it will not look like I did nothing. So we're gonna very slowly uncrumple the piece of paper and there we go, we have a rainbow treasure map. I dried that off with my heat gun and then I took out my decoupage. I put the decoupage onto the page first and then stuck my crumbled piece of paper on top. And then I took my decoupage and really 
piled it on. There's a lot of decoupage on this thing because the paper was very wrinkly, obviously, and I wanted to make sure it was really going to be stuck on there and not fall off. And here we have the final set of pages. Essentially, this is two pages in one because I did two different prompts at the same time. Here are my thoughts. The page on the right with the shapes, I really like that one. I love the black and the blue and the green. The page on the left is objectively disgusting, but at the same time, it was really fun to make. And that's something that I really enjoy about Wreck This Journal. You're making things that don't necessarily look pretty all the time, but they're fun. Let's move on to our next prompt, which is make a paper airplane. Here's the thing, when you read this prompt, it's objectively obvious that you should be ripping this page out or cutting it up into a million tiny pieces, folding it until you have a paper airplane, and then sticking that paper airplane back in the book somehow. But I had just finished the page where I had to do tear out this page, and tearing the page out I think broke my heart a little. So I decided, you know what, no, I'm not gonna put myself through that again. I didn't want to rip out any more pages, and I thought, you know what, when I look at this, this looks like a runway with for planes. You know, like a plane airport runway. I think we all know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Doing some finger painting here. This is the part where I was like, you know what, should I make this white? I feel like the lines on the runway are white, but at the same time, I wanted some colors, so I was like, you know what, no. No, we're gonna do yellow. The lines on the road are definitely yellow sometimes, and I feel like I should definitely know why that is. Why are they white sometimes and yellow other times? Oh wait, it's cause, okay, yellow is when they're going in opposite directions, and white is when you're both going in the same direction. As someone that drives and should know the rules of the road, that's actually vaguely embarrassing and mostly dangerous that I didn't know that off the top of my head, but I think we're all gonna move past it together. Okay, off of the runway and into the sky, except my Posca paint pen ran out of ink. So I had to take out this paint instead. So I was painting this page, minding my own business, when suddenly I realized, oh wait, the other side of this page is you guessed it, another page that we have to tear out and crumple. Why are so many of the Wreck This Journal pages meant to be torn out? And on this one, I said, you know what, fine, I'll tear it out, I'll tear it out, because you're gonna encounter this again, where you're gonna have to tear it out, and then you're gonna be like, I don't wanna tear out something that I just painted on. So I painted on the other page. And now we can all be happy. I am going to take that crumpled piece of paper over there and use it for some clouds. So I'm very carefully uncrumbling the crumpled piece of paper, flipping it over, and then I realized that on the white side, you can actually kind of see the blue through, which I thought was really cool for clouds because then you'll have some white, some blue, and it's gonna be an interesting effect since it was crumpled. I stuck it on the page and now decided I need one extra thing for this page to really come together. An airplane for our runway. So I'm sketching out a cartoon-like airplane that will have a pilot in it. He's going to be adorable, don't worry. Once I've sketched that out and then erased it so that you can't see it anymore, I took out my colored pencils. I've got some real pencils in there, but most of them are just Prismacolor Premier colored pencils, and I started coloring in my airplane with a red color. I started with my darker shade. This is not the darkest shade I used, but it's one of my darker shades. I also added an orange color because I want it to look like this plane is flying into the sunset, the yellow side of the page. So there's gonna be some yellowy effects on the front part of the airplane. For the very front of the plane, I have one of those little propeller things that go on cartoon planes. I don't know if that's on a real plane, I know nothing about planes, but this is what I imagine a plane probably looks like, kind of. After that, I moved on to decorating the little animal that is flying this plane, the tiny pilot. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you, that is the beginnings of Chip. Chip is one of my older characters, he is a cookie dough mouse. Typically, Chip is inside of a cup, but this is a rare occasion where we're seeing him leave his cup. Apparently, he actually can do that. After I had finished with the colors, I added some highlights to Chip's airplane and his little eyes, cut it out, and it's time to glue everything together in our book. 
So I'm taking my decoupage and I'm sticking my clouds into the page. And then once that's there, I'm putting a lot of decoupage on top of the pages. While it's wet, I'm sticking Chip where I want him to go, covering him with some decoupage. And here we have the final result of this make a paper airplane page. Well, technically this is actually two pages in one because I did complete the tear this page out and crumple it page, but the clouds are all will remember of that. If you want to see more of my Wreck This Journal pages, I do have a playlist linked in one of these two boxes on that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!